welcome to blog post automation you have taken the right step this is a fantastic software that's it's any bloggers dream I'm telling you it's gonna save you loads of time you can post pages you can post articles it creates categories it creates tags it basically does everything you need it to do and it's simple a couple of clicks and you're done you can automate your blog for months weeks years even if you wanted to days whatever it's it's a fantastic application I'm telling you it's gonna save you loads and loads of time okay let's get started and I'm, I'm gonna use a basic configuration on this okay so I'm gonna open up the software and I'll go back here to the beginning this is what it would look like when you first uh, when you first launch the application now there uh, there won't be a URL in here so you what you do is you type in the URL to your uh, to your WordPress blog, which is usually in your root, but it may be in a subfolder. But you need to type that in here. And there's three files you upload, which of course we will we have detailed tutorials on the inside on how to use all of the concepts and all of the configurations of this uh, of this application. Okay, uh, so you don't have to worry about that. We cover it all. Now. So basically you upload three files there's three pass there's a password in each of those that you put in and that's this password okay so you'll have to record that uh, so you know which one is for which blog but basically that's how you do it and uh, you can you, it, it defaults to get the post title from the f f first line so inside your article the, the very first line would be the title of your article if you're going to use this option I'm going to get it from the article name the, the actual title of the file okay and there's other features here, but I'm not going to go into these. Uh, and we also have a uh, a help page. Okay, if you click on that within the software, it takes me it takes you to my tutorial text file. There's going to be links to videos on here as well. And down at the bottom, there's a link to to an FAQ page. Okay, I'll be adding these as I get them. Okay, so basically that's that. Now let's go back to the software. I'll go up to my blog. Um, as you can see, I'll just show to you that if I go to my blog, there's no posts. Okay, so I'm going to go up to here and I'm going to go next. Now I'm, I got it set for two minutes. That's just because I want to show you them being posted. Normally, this would not be a uh, a proper setting. You don't want to post every two minutes. That's uh, uh, that's asking for trouble. You want to do it like days or hours at least. I would go probably days, three days. Uh, post uh, every three days. You want to set your date. This date may not be the current date, so you're going to have to go in here and, and select the current date, okay, which is, that's the date t today, okay. So then you go next, and I also have added a custom tag. These, this is going to create a tag cloud for me on my blog. I have that on my, uh, on my sidebar, so this is going to create a tag cloud as I add my posts. And you can add other tags that go to the, to the, bottom of your uh, of your post which I recommend because this is like a backlink when you click this it goes to this site uses whatever words it finds and will pull up other people's posts on other people's blogs so I, I would recommend you use it now I wouldn't use four four characters I would go minimum five or maybe even six I'm gonna I'm gonna click six okay so it's gonna find the the top uh, the top word let's go to the top uh, I'll go to top two okay so it's going to select two of the most common, the words that's in my article the most that has six characters. Okay, and use that as this tag. Okay, and I'll show you that when we get to uh, when, we, when we get up to my blog. Okay, and then you click next. Now this is posting uh, page posting. This will create pages on your blog if you're going to use this. Okay, I'm not going to do this one. I'm going to do the articles. So I click next again, and then I already have it selected to uh, to where my articles are now obviously you have your root up here you can just select wherever you have your articles now here's an important thing here let's go here affiliate marketing and this is my C drive what I've done is I've created a folder called affiliate marketing this is going to be my category this is what my category is going to be whatever the folder is where your articles are so you need to create that properly so that's going to be your category okay and my file title names are here I have intro affiliate marketing text and choosing a profitable affiliate program okay so these are the two and these are the th because I'm using the the title of the article um, as my as my title to the post okay so it's going to use these as my as my post titles 
okay and if, if you select this and these aren't showing up just click one of these buttons down here okay and it will it will pull this up okay sort articles randomly well I wanted the intro first so it is first so I'm gonna leave it that's fine but if you wanted to change them around like sort in descending order because you want to put this sp a specific one at the top then go ahead and do that okay so you want to name these um, you know you want maybe keep them in, in alphabetic order um, according to how you're gonna post them if you can if not you'll have to organize them ac accordingly uh, sort you know it's gonna post them according to this order up here okay so then you just do select all and one more step and you're done so let's go ahead and click uh, post my articles boom done now let's go up to my blog and I'll go to my posts and there's gonna be two posts in there as you can see there's my two posts okay they haven't been posted yet let's go to my categories and go into my categories there's my affiliate marketing category okay post tags affiliate marketing I got blog content okay that was probably there before that might uh, that wasn't created this time but the affiliate marketing uh, is there okay so let's go ahead and go back to my posts and see if any of them have been posted yet not yet so what I'm gonna do is I'll pause this and come back when it's been posted hold on okay as you can see my article has been posted one minute ago so let's go up to my blog and have a look at it and as you can see there's my intro affiliate marketing there's my article I got affiliate and promote as tags okay those are the words it found okay and if I come over to my I got my category affiliate marketing and I got my tags affiliate marketing okay so that's how that worked it did it for me all on autopilot now let's go back to my blog or to my admin and let's go and see if the other ones posted yet no it has not so again I will pause the video and come back when that's been posted hold on okay so now you can see now that my other article has been posted two minutes ago one minute ago okay so let's go up to my dashboard or let's go up to my uh, blog and we'll see the other article choosing a profitable affiliate program there's my title and affiliate program found the same uh, the same tags for both of them okay and there you go how cool is that choosing a profitable affiliate it's all done for you and if you come down over here oops again of course these haven't been added again they only they only get added the once because it's going to use the same tag for both those articles and then you got your archives that'll be archived eventually these will when they get pushed off the page but as you can see this is a powerful tool it's very very simple it's it's unbelievably easy to use and of course we're going to go into some more detailed tutorials to make sure you have a complete understanding on what you have to do to use this software I highly recommend that you pick this tool up if you blog this is a tool that you must have the most time-consuming process of blogging is posting well this is automated for you it's all automated it's going to take away that time frame tenfold it's going to be minor and it, you, you can you can post these you know you can do a month's worth of articles so you come back once a month and post all your blogs all, all in about you know, probably depending on how many blogs you have 10 15 minutes you're done as long as you got your articles all ready to go you're done that's how simple this is so I'll see you on the inside enjoy